The most unexpected item in my bag is... Hey guys, I'm Madison Beer and I am going to spill it. First, there are pimple patches in the bag. Sorry that I'm wearing one right now, but if you can't ignore it, at least it's the same color as my shirt and the table. So this is a Chrome Hearts bag, and I don't wanna say it's custom for me, but it kind of was custom made because there's, I think, only one of them, potentially. I don't, I, I'm not sure, but that's what I was told. I actually have this same exact bag in zebra print and black, and then they texted me and were like, hey, we have one in the world that is cheetah print and pink, and I was like, ship it to my house. So yeah, I bought it for myself. I love it. It's my, when I have a lot of things, in my bag, bag. I think that my bag it is like, honestly, it turns into kind of like my junk drawer sometimes. So this was a great thing to do because I had to like organize it a little bit. But it just, I don't know, I feel like sometimes it like can represent what I've been doing for the last few months. I'll look through my bag and I'll be like, I didn't know that I've been to all these places. I don't know, it's like my little time capsule. I try to keep it organized. I don't know if I succeed at that attempt, but I try. So are you ready? Strap on in, buckle up for this. I always have a clip on my bag. I don't really keep them. This is, this. it's funny because this one actually is broken. Like I'm missing a prong and like the this part is broken, but I try not to keep them in my bag because they always get crushed. So I try to keep them on the handle of the bag, which is where it is now. That's a sneak peek of what's to come. Okay, yeah, these are, this, these are with me no matter what, even if it's just in, <laughs> even if it's just in my pocket, these are always with me. So headphones starting us off, my Nintendo Switch. Again, we aren't always lucky enough to have her with us, but today we got we got lucky. I genuinely do bring this with me if I can. Most of the time I can't, but today I was like, you're coming with me. So that's that. I have an addiction to fall guys, so have to be using that all the time. Okay, sunglasses that I have worn, I'm heartbroken about these sunglasses. I've worn them far too much, so now they're just extremely wide and they fall off my head all the time. These are vintage Fendi glasses. These are Fendi reading glasses. Well, they're not for reading. I don't know why I call them that. They, they help me see, because I actually can't see at all. These are my glasses. I have plenty of glasses, but these are the ones that stay in my car slash my purse. My wallet, my trusty wallet that I've had for a very long time that has gum on it. Trusty wallet, I've had her for many years. Um, it has gum on it because I also have made the mistake of co consistently over the years throwing like just individual pieces of gum in the wrapper still, but I'll throw them in my bag and then I end up opening my bag and they're just like out of the wrapper ruining everything. So that's my wallet. This is my makeup slash like little to go pouch. I'm gonna get into what's in here, but first I would like to show you things that should be in there, but don't fit. And this isn't this isn't like promotional or like exaggerative. Like this is genuinely when I was packing this bag today to show you what is in it, I was transferring a few things out of my like daily small purse, and this is truly seriously the amount of lip gloss that I pulled out of my bag and I was like I need to keep this. So, we have one, we have two, we have three. These are the same product. These aren't even different products. Here's four. We're not finished, mind you. I had five just in my little bag. I was just like, what? I think it's because every time I leave my house, I'm like, oh, I need to grab one of my road lip peptide treatments. And then I just grab another one. Hoops, these should be in here. Don't know why they're not, but I always wear gold hoops and sometimes I will leave my house and forget them. And they're so a part of me as a human being that if I forget them, I have to go home. And sometimes I'm far from home and I like to keep an extra pair all the time on me, some gum. Don't need to explain that too too much, but some gum, you know. This is actually my favorite type of gum now, absolutely. Let's take a picture of you actually right now. I am new to the digital camera thing, and I love it, I think it's so fun. I love taking pictures on a camera like this because it reminds me of when I was a bit younger and used to take pictures on a camera, and yes, I actually used to take photos on a camera. I vividly remember my 11th or 12th birthday, we all had like little cameras we're taking pictures on and I missed that. Hand sanitizer, which literally just reaching into my bag, like my hands feel gross. So this hand sanitizer brand, Touchland, I always want to pronounce with like some sort of other accent, like Touchland, it should be called or something to me, even though it's probably just Touchland. Two of the same exact lip stains because of course, a lip liner, another lip liner, Yep, these are the lip liners. We've got 
Mac Cork. And we've got Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown. Perfume. This is um, Diptyque. I'm not gonna try to say that word. Rose, something rose. Ooh, rose. Another perfume, this is um, You by Glossier. I actually really love these types of like little things. I think they're so fun and they're cute. I don't know, I love these. I, these are also the easiest to travel with. So that's the end of the inside of the bag. I'm not gonna show you everything in here, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of a rundown. On the theme of pimple patches, I always have some just in case because, yep, plagued with that. Um, some sunscreen, look at this. This, this is covered in gum. Like, I don't know if you can see that. It's disgusting and it's covered in gum. Like, repulsive. Anyway, my little Melody hairbrush, which is like a crucial part of my life. I love this thing. It just makes me happy. It honestly doesn't work because it's tiny, but it's so cute. Another big bottle of You by Glossier, which this isn't even my signature perfume. I guess it's just the one that I was like, yeah, that could be the one that I use on the go. A few like Fenty Beauty brushes, which how cool is that? I love that so much. You have no idea. My brain enjoys that a lot. The most unexpected item in my bag, by the way, I don't know that this is gonna be so unexpected, but I, I'm gonna explain to you, is pepper spray. So I'm gonna be totally candid and honest right now. I have no idea how to use this. No idea. Like if someone were to be figuratively running full speed at me, my idiotic brain has convinced itself that the adrenaline will kick in, that I'll just know instinctively how to use it when I need to. And I'm too afraid to learn how to use it because I feel like someone teaching me is gonna end up accidentally like spraying someone. But I feel like also not knowing I'm gonna accidentally spray myself. So I should probably learn how to use it. But it's in my bag, so don't, don't f with me or else I'm gonna spray you with pepper spray, or I'm gonna try to. Okay, I mean, that's what's in my bag. Do you remember when you were to spill it six years ago? No. I've done this? Oh, I said I'm very sick, I was sick. Oh, I still have my headphones! Oh my goodness. You, you did not read that book, stop lying to everybody. I'm not ever doing this on camera again, even though I just did it. I can't, this is crazy. Let's do a better one, why don't we? I am promoting my new album, Silence Between Songs is out everywhere now. To watch more videos like this, subscribe here. Okay, bye.